Hello everyone. So today what I'm going to show you how you can configure Husky in your JavaScript in your Visual Studio Code for uh, doing the JavaScript uh, development. I have uh, written a post in my blog where you I have, I have shown you how you can configure ESLint and Prettier in your, in your Visual Studio Code. If you have not gone through that, I would highly recommend that you go through that. And this is the I'll share the you know uh, link in the description of this video. But basically, this is a post configure ESLint and Prettier in the Visual Studio Code for JavaScript development. Again, I'm going to share the link of this in the in the description of this video. But I highly recommend that you go through this video, uh, go through this post. This post has written in such a way like you you we have a step by step approach where uh, I've shown you how you can configure ESLint and Prettier. Uh, and uh, make sure like you know your your visual studio code is already uh, having this ESLint and prettier installed because that's kind of a prerequisite for today's session so let's assume that you already have that ESLint and prettier configured what we are going to do today we are going to uh, we are going to you know install husky to uh, husky uh, in your visual studio code now before going into details let me give you a quick introduction of what husky is all about so husky is basically a git hook and git hook is nothing but script which you can run on uh, multiple uh, events like you know before commit or after commit and all these things right so and uh, so that's that's a kind of a brief introduction of uh, husky uh, but now the question is like why we need husky like you know we have the eslit and prettier configured with that every time we create a javascript file which is not following the best practices we can always run the lint command and that can give us the error message okay my code is not following the best practices or not syntax correctly right then why i need husky the thing is that, uh, you know, with ESLint and Prettier, you are still dependent on developer run that command manually and making sure their code is configured. If they don't run that command manually and just do the commit, it means like, you know, there's a chances that, you know, the poorly syntaxed or uh, not f uh, best practice followed code uh, will get committed to Git. Right, you can always have an option like you know, if you have a pipeline, you can run ESLint and Prettier as part of your pipeline, and which will make sure that your uh, issues is, issues are identified. But with that, the problem is like you know, you committed something which is not correctly syntaxed or not following the best practices, and then you run your uh, GitHub um, pipeline, which uh, throws the error, and then you need to do a second commit for fixing those issues, right? So it involves two it involves two commits, right? So uh, Husky is basically, you know, is going to solve that problem. Husky will make sure you every time you do a commit, before the commit, it will run the lint command and make sure that your uh, yes, uh, make sure your code is, you know, properly syntaxed, followed the best practices. Then only it will allow you to, uh, then only it will allow you to, you know, commit your changes. Otherwise, it will not. Okay. So let's say we have this, you know, our Visual Studio code is configured. We have prettier and we have uh, we have prettier and we have uh, eslint already configured in our visual studio code so the first thing that we need to do we need to install husky as a dev dependency the way to do that open your terminal and we can run, run this command npm i this means it's a minus capital d means it's a dev dependency and husky once we do that, it ran successfully and we can see on, in our package.json file under dev dependencies, we have a new section, new item called Husky. So that's good. So once this is done, what we need to do, we need to create the Husky git hook. And to do that, let's search in Google Husky git hook and uh, if we open this one basically this is a this is a uh, hook that we need to install in our package.json so let's copy the entire one 
and put it under our uh, package.json we don't need anything let in our scenario let's we want to run the lint command uh, before doing any actual commit so in the pre-commit we want to run our uh, lint command so it will be npm run lint lint is our script and what it will do it will execute this source command uh, if you if you are still in a doubt why i have written two dashes it's basically we want to make sure this source is the folder against which we want to run the lint and source is a parameter to the eslint command not the parameter to the npm command so if you have just written npm run lint one I mean, uh, if you have just written in this way, then SRC will be considered as a parameter to the NPM, but rather we want to pass SRC as a parameter to the ES lead. So for that, we need to add one more double dashes. Uh, so this is how it looks like. So far, so good. So we have written, we have added Husky as our dev dependencies. And we also we have also added uh, a pre-commit uh, git hook for uh, Husky. With that, let me create a let me create a file. Let's say hello Waterloo. And this time, let me make some real mistakes. I have declared a variable without semicolon. First problem. I'm written a uh, hello world from Waterloo with single quotes and without semicolon and make sure that I am saving this file without any formatting so once I've done that right I know my file is not properly syntaxed right and uh, with that what I'm going to do now I am going to up I'm going to you know commit that file in the git repo so for that, I will do a git status. I see there is a new file, hello world. So let me add that. Now here the beauty. Now what I really want, the moment I try to commit this file, I want uh, Husky to run the ESLIN command and check for all the files under that SRC. And if there is any problem, throw me an error and you know stop the commit. I don't want to, you know, commit any poorly syntax or, you know, poorly syntaxed file, right? So for that, let me do a git commit minus n, adding hello Waterloo JavaScript file. So what has happened? Even though I've executed the git command, but it actually ran the eslint command, and it's telling that I'm I'll not be able to you know do your commit because you have a file called hello waterloo which is not following the best practices and there are three errors already. So that's a beauty. So now you you understand the beauty of the Husky, right? Uh, Husky will not allow you to if if you uh, Husky will not allow you to commit your file to git repository git repo until unless your file is you know properly syntaxed and following the best practices so now let me clear the window and let me let me uh, fix all the problems all the complaints right and this is another complaint so fix this prettier problem okay so all looks good so what is the git status now so there is a new file, there is updated file, let me add that and then git commit minus m what is this? adding the little file. Okay, this time it will still execute the eslint command but it still execute the slit command but since there is no error it went it actually did the actual commit so 
this is the way we can use Husky to make sure that every time we do a commit, our ESLint code will run and make sure the committed code is properly syntaxed and following the best practices and then only it will do that. I hope this video is helpful for you. Let me know your comments, your feedback. And if you like the video, please feel free to you know share with others. Hit the like icon and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.